Welcome back to Fallout 4. It's time to finally explore the thing that I left off on a cliffhanger with. The Krupp Manor Basement. Get him, dog meat. Get him! Yeah, let's actually test this out. Okay, let's see if dog meat grabs his foot. Oh, my god. Dog meat, no! That thing did so much damage to you, dog meat. I thought you'd grab his leg any second and pin it to the ground. Yeah, I still want to see this new ability that I just got in action. Attack dog? Your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in vats. I want to see that work. I don't know if it's something like... Do I need to tell dog meat specifically to attack somebody? I'm assuming dog meat would just do it automatically. I mean, already, Dogme can pin people to the ground, so maybe it's the same the same thing. Maybe he just pins them to the ground like normal. But it also gives you an increased chance to hit them in vats, whereas before it didn't? I'm not sure. Oh, that was a legendary withered feral ghoul. Fortifying leather right arm. Plus one strength and endurance. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, don't, don't, no, don't drink the water. I just drank water, like, right from underneath or next to the body of a withered feral ghoul that's sitting and putrefying in it. Mmm. Ghoul tea. Oh, look at the mini nuke enjoying the couch. Alright, let's take a look at that piece of armor. Might be better than what I've got. Right arm. I've got lucky. So, plus two luck. Hmm. Plus two luck, or plus one strength and endurance. And it also has better stats. Eight and thirteen compared to three and five. The protection is way better. How good is luck? What exactly does luck do? And just to be sure... Yeah, so this is what I thought. When it comes to being buffed in your base stats by items and stuff like that, like pluses to your, your basic stats like strength, perception, luck, um, if you have an item that boosts your stat in that, it, it doesn't actually allow you to get a higher level of skill. So my base luck is 3, and still I can only go down to level 3 in luck, even though I, I have the plus 2 luck, which actually means my luck is 5, I suppose. But I don't have access to those levels of luck because it's simply a bonus from an item, and that doesn't count in terms of the abilities that you can get. Which does make sense, because then, you know, what if you got luck really high, got some of the abilities that you could only access because of the item, and then you took off the item? Then how would that work? It wouldn't really make any sense. Anyway, uh, luck, general good fortune, recharge rate of critical hits. That's it. Well, I'm not sure what my general good fortune is. Uh, I'm assuming that maybe gives me better drops or something like that. But the only thing it specifically names is the recharge rate of critical hits, and I don't give a damn about that. I almost never use crits. I thought I would, but... Eh. I don't really care that much. Which means... I am gonna go with the fortifying leather right arm. One strength and one endurance. I believe that means I'll have more health. More carry weight. Should give me 10 more pounds carry weight, I think. Mm-hmm. Cool. When my father said that nothing could change the Krupp family dynasty, not even the crippling debt from a bad stock market trade, he apparently didn't think about a world flooded with radiation poisoning. Uh, let me back up. When I watched the mushroom clouds rising, I thought that it was someone's sick joke. I'd prayed for something to wipe away the debt, but this was not what I had in mind. But I'd take a blue-collar lifestyle over having the majority of my facial features slide off in my sleep. Well, could be worse. I locked the rest of the family in the basement and hid the key. 
couldn't bring myself to kill them. They may be disgusting monsters, but that's still my Aunt Belinda in there. I've started to find that there are other survivors out here. Some of them look like roadkill, too. They all killed the ones that turned into monsters and started trying to kill us normal ones. Weird thing I noticed, none of the ferals seemed interested in attacking those of us falling apart. Hmm. So even the sane ghouls are seen as one of them. The monsters don't attack the sane ghouls. Okay, it worked. I went into the basement, and the rest of the family didn't try and kill me. Actually, they kind of ignored me. But that's not the point. The point is, the old world is dead. Everyone is back to square one. Our debt is gone, and we can start over. Look, if I can still talk and function and act like a normal human being, then so can they. They just need a little nudge. The Krupp family will be back on top in no time. The rest of your family? The monster ghouls? They just need a little nudge. How are you going to nudge them into being not monsters? Who cares? Hundreds of years. Hundreds. I can't fucking die. None of us can. I've spent hundreds of years trying to teach these creatures how to act human. I've got nothing to show for it. Except maybe my cousin James can spot the difference between a salad fork and a regular fork. I can't be sure he's not lucky. How the hell are we supposed to be the affluent socialite croup family again if we're all monsters? This is pointless. I swear to God I'm going to bust in Aunt Belinda's head if she doesn't listen to me. You just watch. I spent hundreds of years trying to teach them. What? Is that just being poetic? Or did he literally spend hundreds of years? If they did, then do ghouls live longer than normal human beings? Dog meat, take my stuff. Hey, over here. Oh, it's okay, boy. Oh, right, I've still got the minigun. Well, I tried it out on one ghoul and it was terrible. So you can take it. It weighs way too much. Ah, <sighs> dog meat's full. Gonna have to go back pretty soon. But I've got about 40 pounds to work with. Sweet. Yoink. Can't forget the camera. Huh. Since the basement was a separate instance, I was expecting it to be pretty big. But, nope. Alright, well, let's continue on and explore the rest of this little peninsula. Ah, listen to the sounds of the sea. Refreshing. Even if it is filled with radiation. Yeah, so there's a bit more to this little peninsula. Is this actually a peninsula, or is this just kind of like an island? I think it's a peninsula. Isn't a peninsula just an outcropping of land sticking out in the water? Yeah, this isn't a bridge. I mean, this is actual land, I think. So, I, I think it's a peninsula. Looks like there's two more places that are marked on the map here. It's like a church or something, and then I don't know what the other thing is. Maybe a dock? The wavy lasagna thing?
Oh, right. Searching buildings that aren't marked on the map is normally fruitless. Just find little bits of junk. Nothing too special. Yeah, look at that church. It's pretty big. Who's there? Found an enemy. <gasps> Dog meat. Did you find the same enemy that just saw me? Yep, he's looking over there. I hear him. Probably a raider, maybe a child of Adam. It's a human being, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. Well, it is a human. But I mean, whatever faction they're affiliated with. Do this. Oh, they saw me. And they're named. Oh my god, Dogmeat's already going up there. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming, Dogmeat. Pin him to the ground. Oh yeah, you got him pinned. Alright, so this should increase my chance to hit you in vats. 95%? That might just be because I'm standing next to you. Regardless, I'll take it. Good job, boy. Good job. You know what you deserve, dog meat. You hey. know what you deserve. You deserve a teddy bear. You already had it, but let's not talk about that. There you go. Oh, it's the crappy animation where he only plays with it for like. A half a second. Small saucepan lid. Ah, oh, I've been looking for that, thank god. Now I can finally craft that thing I've been waiting for. Dogby, don't fall! These boats aren't marked or anything, so there's probably nothing on them, but I still feel like searching them. The boats are cool. Ooh, there's something on this one. It even floats! Awesome. back to the church on my way back. Alright, what is this place? A hunt. Oceanological Society. Hmm. Should be science inside. Oh, it's an actual instance. Perhaps there's actual scientists inside? Friendlies? Maybe? Hmm... I hear noises. I think it might be a turret or something up there. Research terminal. Alright, I will take the time to hack this one. Zero... One... Grow. G-R-O-W. G-R-O-W. G R O W G R O it could be this one. I'm in. Jim Prescott signed in. Internal memo. 
We'll be shutting down for the last week of October while the bulk of our staff is in Monterey for the National Aquatic... Aquatic? National Aquatic Protection Symposium. I'll be remaining here to continue preparation for the harbor blockade to protest the war the first week of November. Remaining staff members, please use the week to coordinate with volunteers to get more sign-ups for the blockade. I'll be working out of the research lab this week if you need to find me. Dr. Casey Reed. P.S. Jim, please remember to power down the robots before you leave for the weekend. <laughs> that must have been what I heard, maybe. Maybe Jim forgot to power down the robots. Or maybe the apocalypse happened before the robots could be powered down, and Jim died. Goals. Here at the Nahant Oceanological Society, we strive to save our oceans by researching the long-term effects of radioactive exposure on aquatic life and working with the community to raise public awareness. We believe that companies such as Poseidon and General Atomics have gone unchecked too long, and that radical action is necessary to protect our world from a horrific future. A single mouthful Ooh. of seawater may contain hundreds of thousands of phytoplankton. I think I like what these people stand or stood for. Formal hat. I don't know if I have that. I'm going to pick it up just in case I don't. in this one. I'm betting utensil. I am not surprised. Oh, hi. Oh, good. You're actually not an enemy. A whale's eyeballs are fixed. To look in a different direction, it must turn its whole body. Fascinating. Welcome to the Nahat Oceanological Society. Welcome to the Nahat Oceanological Society. Nice. Permanently gain 10% discount from food and drink vendors. I never buy food or drink. That is completely useless to me. I know I'm getting close on weight, so I'm not going to pick up anything unless it's particularly... particularly nice. Yeah, how am I doing? Oh my god, I actually, like, literally can't pick up almost anything. I'm maxed out. This weighs 8, value 60. Let's dump that. Alright, there's 8 extra pounds. Welcome to the Nahat Oceanological Society. Oh, I see you there, Wonder Glue. That's a prime crafting ingredient. Nice. souped up sniper rifle. It's got bayonet and also heavy. Mmm, it's really heavy though. 19 pounds. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up any of that too damn heavy. More Meyer lurks. At least they can't get to me. 
Right. Yeah, they can. Ha ha. Alright, this is gonna take a long time. Actually, I don't even have that much ammunition left. Shit. Wait, where are they going? Oh god, did they find a way around? Oh, I, I think they found a way around. Okay, let's put down some mines. Screw these damn things. Frag mines? Yeah. Dog meat? Hey, come here, come here. Come on. Dog meat? Oh, that's gonna blow dog meat up. No, oh my god, like three hits and... And dog meat's crippled. Come on, come on. Things are so tough. Yeah, those mines barely did anything. I'm sorry, dog meat. Wait, is there one more? Still in danger, I see one on that compass. Where are you? There you are. Oh god, out of ammo. And there's another one. All right, you need to die. I need to heal. Get him, dog meat. Get him. Baked bloat fly. I'll take it. Blood pack. Sure. Got him, dog meat. We got him. These things are so tough. I should probably look at what they're weak to. I fought like a hundred of them at this point, and I've never looked at their weaknesses. I wonder if maybe they're more susceptible to energy weapons. Because I still got, yeah, I still got this thing. Not much ammunition for it, but still got it. You know what I should probably do? I'm avoiding picking up stuff because of the weight issue. So, I'm actually gonna go back to Sanctuary, dump some stuff, and I'll be right back. Inventory's nice and organized. Let's get back to it. So, we just went inside of that building. Let's see if we can go inside of this one, too. Ah, it's the research lab part of it. Cool. Maybe there's even more science in here. I hear things. Things. Scurrying. 
my god, dog meat. Dog meat had trouble phasing through the door again. Come on, dog meat. Here. Come on, boy. Take a look. Come on. Over there. Come on. Get into position. Oh, come on. Over Your doggy here. face powers. There you go. Finally got control of his doggy face powers. Good boy. Got it. Hey, by the way, that was a, a master level lock. I can't remember if I've made this joke before, but... Have I ever mentioned how I'm a master of unlocking? Hmm. Haven't done anything with a chemistry station in a while. Ooh, look at all the drugs I can make. things and I'm out of shotgun ammo okay let's yeah let's look at their weaknesses okay um, physical resistance massive energy resistance pretty high apparently no radiation resistance hmm well it's too bad I don't have one of those like gamma guns on me because I guess those would be incredibly effective yeah I uh, I think I sold them all but I guess if I get any more, I'll try to remember to keep a gamma gun so I can do radiation damage against Mire Lurks. You asshole. I'm gonna shoot your arm off if I can. to die. Heal. I really need to do some cooking, too. You okay, boy? You okay? Even though I'm just in a basement, the performance here is just really weirdly terrible. It keeps lagging out like crazy. Yeah, like right here, look at this. It's it's not just low FPS, but it's like super jittery. Cool, lots of science stuff. Good crafting components, I think. I think microscopes give you like optical stuff. Hot plates are good, they might have copper in them. Let's see what research they were doing here. Research logs. Lobster growth. Oh, this must be, uh... This must be what turned into the... Mire Lurks. This is insane. An increase in average mass by 14% in crabs and 12% in lobsters is not something to be celebrated. If this trend continues, the additional food necessary to sustain the shellfish population could lead to colony collapse. 
I've tried again to bring out finding to bring our findings about the growth and mutations to the press, and those assholes at GNN just took our findings and spun them into a story about how great shellfish season is going to be. Increased toxicity. This is the 14th month in a row that we have seen a continued increase in toxicity in barnacles and cod. This raises the average month-over-month -month increase to 34% compared to those in the control tanks. We tried contacting the Boston Port Authority, but they refused to take or return our calls. Samples from Lake... Quantipowit. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is very strange. One of my colleagues sent us a sample from Lake Quantipowit, asking for independent verification to compare against his findings. The radiation and toxicity levels are 15 times higher than the samples we had from last year, and well over safe levels for people to be swimming. I've sent a report back to him to confirm his findings. Office keys. Casey, I can't find the keys to your office and I need to print out more of the sign-up sheets and info pamphlets for the harbor blockade. Did you leave them in the ship again? Oh, there's some keys in a ship. Probably irrelevant for me since I'm, you know, the master of unlocking. Open up the safe. Heads up. Why do I have that so heavy? Do I have some weapons? Ah, I do. Pistol. And that. And that. There we go. Alright, so where's this locked office that needs a key that's in a ship from? Or where's it at, rather? You know what? Maybe I already unlocked it in the other place. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen everywhere down here. And there was not a locked door. Yeah, because I've already been in there. It's so weird that the per performance out here in the open world is like a smooth 60 FPS, but my performance in that relatively small location that's basically just one room was super inconsistent and jittery. Really weird. Did I ever loot all the Mire Lurks? Oh no, I didn't. I want to go explore that boat out there. Ah, and there's the key. Don't need it, of course. But cool to have it anyway. Alright, let's get the hell out of your dog meat. You little rocket squeak toy. Come on. <laughs> I think dog, dog meat's taking out the little babies that came out of the eggs. But yeah, let's run to the church. Finish up our exploration of the little peninsula. Pretty close. Car's about to blow. Whoa, and there goes a body. Holy shit.
Is that a Mr. Gutsy? It is. That thing just took off jetting the other direction. Where are you going, Gutsy? Uh, where's dog me? He'll catch up. Oh, <gasps> there you are. Who's ready to have their ass kicked? You can run, but you can't hide. What the? Uh, what? I don't... Why are you just a stick? Are you destructible to the point where you can literally take Mr. Gutsy down to just a stick? Or is this a bug? Huh. I guess I'll go for your... mid-arm. <gasps> oh, maybe it's just the angle that it looked like a stick. I don't know. It looked really weird. Okay, church. Did you just play with that ball, Doc? Me? I think that was a coincidence. But just to check. Do you like ball stock me? You wanna play with it? Come on. Come on. Come on, dog me. Go fetch. Ah, oh, my dream of playing catch with dog meat is never going to be realized until mods come out. Recon calibrated. Pa Wait, recon. Recon. I think that's a special scope that you need, like science, to be able to actually put on. Oh, you know what? There's something that I'm not sure if I've ever explained before. Uh, maybe I have, but let me just explain it just in case I haven't. Um, so you know how when you go to make a gun modification, it requires at least some of them, the higher level ones, require gun nut level one or two and or science level one or two to make them. Well, that it turns out that's actually only to make the mods. You only need those skills to make them. Not to put them on. So if you find a weapon in the world like I just did that has modifications on it, you can actually take the modifications from that gun. Even if you can't make those modifications, you can take them from the gun without the skills and put them onto a weapon. So if you find a weapon that has a mod that you want that you can't make, you can just take it from it and just use it. So I'm really excited because I just found a recon, which I don't know if I found before. Or if I did, I just never noticed it and thought about it. Because I want to... I want to try the scope. I think recon is like some... Yeah, look at that crazy scope. Whoa, that looks weird. What the hell? Okay, that looks better. Huh. It seems like it adjusts depending on how bright the scene is. So it's a bit disorientating when you're looking at it like this. Gotta wait for the HDR to catch up or whatever. But I think with a recon scope you can like identify targets or something like that. I don't know how it works. But I'm gonna test this thing out. How's the damage on this thing actually? I wonder if it's worth upgrading. 81 damage. Hmm. I don't know. My double shot rifle though is just so freaking good. But yeah, if the recon scope is good, then I can just take it off and put it on this one. Put it on my two-shotter.
Thought there might be something up here. Nothing but a good view. How's the zoom on the recon scope compared to my normal scope? So let's see, that makes it so the building takes up most of the frame. And this... Huh. That's actually pretty similar. Except the recon scope actually allows me to see more. Yeah, recon scope barely blocks your vision, whereas the other scope just gives you a circle in the center of the screen. This gives you a nice fat rectangle. are done with the peninsula. That's all the locations on it. I'm gonna go put this recon scope on. Even though I'm not sure how good it is, just the fact that it allows me to zoom into basically the same amount as the other scope, but also see more of the screen, makes me really want it. Let's see if it does anything with the stats. Uh, so this is how you take off a mod, by the way. What are you building? Oh, it's even a long recon scope. It's not just a normal recon scope. Yeah, that's like the best. Look at that. You need gun nut rank 2 and science rank 1. Uh, tracks targets, superior magnification, and sighted accuracy. Yeah, so somehow it tracks targets. I don't know what that means, but it's got to be good. So if you want this mod, you can't just like... There's no like right-click detach or something like that for it. What you simply need to do is just put a different modification on and then it automatically puts this mod into your inventory. So let's say we go back to standard sites. That's fine. Go back. Go to the two shot. And... what? Hmm. Something's wrong. Ah, uh, okay, I see what the problem is. So, what I said was true. Everything I said was true. If you put a different modification on a weapon, it takes off the old mod, and the recon scope is in my inventory. However, I can't equip it to my two-shot calibrated powerful sniper rifle because it's a scope made for a different kind of gun. Apparently, a recon scope is not necessarily the same as another recon scope. Um, even though the only thing it actually says when you go to put a scope on it even though it just says long recon scope, it is specifically a long pipe rifle recon scope, or something like that. Whereas my two-shotter is, I guess, a sniper rifle and needs like a, a long sniper rifle scope, perhaps, or something like that. So yeah, they're actually different kinds of scopes. So let's plop the long recon scope back on this thing. There we go. And you know what? I want to diversify my ammo usage even more. And this Most thing is already- people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Yes, thank you for your input. Um, <laughs> this thing's already pretty souped up, so let's just improve it a bit more and make this thing use a different ammo type. So let's actually make this thing use 50 caliber, because I don't think I have anything else that uses that. Makes it do a bit more damage, too. Take a look at the barrel. It's got a long, light barrel. Uh, what about a long, fin barrel? Welcome back, Mom. I do hope were able to find some assistance in Congo. Looks like that's better. What about the stock? Marksman stock? It's pretty good. What about this? Looks like that is even better. Uh, exceptional sighted accuracy and recoil. Yeah, it looks like a little bit better recoil and stuff like that. Seems to be pretty minor, but it's something. Leave the long recon scope on there. What about the suppressor? Yeah, let's leave the suppressor on there. Okay, now we've got a... 
crazy looking 50 caliber monster. There we go. I just went ahead and reassigned some of my weapons and their quick slot keys. Make everything a bit more smooth. Yep, so this is the new souped up recon scope equipped rifle. 50 caliber to use up a different ammo type. Not going to do nearly as much damage as this beautiful, beautiful two-shotter. This thing really is just a beautiful weapon. This thing looks like a pile of junk cobbled together. But it's still pretty cool. It's got kind of a homemade feel to it. And I really want to see what the scope looks like when I'm fighting enemies. I want to know what tracking an enemy means. I don't know if it just highlights them or if it improves your accuracy in vats or what. But I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to start doing some quests again.